so it's Donnie and Ellie starting a vlog from here. I'm not a professional vlogger, so we want to get on this uh, train, head down to Tokyo, and uh, get it started. So we'll see you in the Philippines. So we just arrived in Philippines. It's uh, pretty, pretty hot. Got Alan right here. Got a, a ride for the weekend coming up. So Mike right here, he ride real slow. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, we got here. We're gonna uh, link up, get uh, settled, stuff with the and get right to the car, get uh, get some dot stuff dialed in, uh, kind of relax, and then um, we'll be we'll be in it. So that's the ride right here, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Somebody here, or are you already got here before? Yeah, just open it now. I'm like, holy shit, just leave it open. But you gotta do, you gotta walk through the gate, like outside. There you go, Mike. All right, guys, so we're here now. We just got to uh, Seth's one and Gajantuni here in the Philippines. As you can see, still setting everything up here. Huge location, uh, you know, compared to where he was there in Okinawa. So for those guys that were saying, hey, man, it's nice small setup. This thing fucking small, you bitches. You know what I mean? So this is the 33 33 when we rock this weekend. Looks a lot better in uh, person. And I will be rocking this. R33, so for the guys who don't know, uh, got thousands of hours in this uh, car. Only thing different is left-hand drive. But um, that's what I kind of cut my teeth here in Japan, man. So no better car, chances to get in. And uh, we'll be out there doing the shakedown, uh, doing some tuning and everything. Of course, you guys know Seth is a uh, Helltech uh, dealer as well. So RB25, Helltech, R33, good combo. It takes us no time to get it all set up and dialed in. And uh, everybody here, not everybody, but a good amount. Of, oh, everybody coming in is going to be in the borrowed car as well. So it's, it's kind of an even playing field, man. So definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. So. not seeing things the uh, power is out in the grid there so we got everything by lights everything so we're gonna get to we'll get the car to the track and uh we'll go from there video video how much these little things cost man about 50 bucks 50 bucks <laughs>
All right, guys, we got the first issue here. There's an issue with the uh, wiring on the actual uh, fuel pump. Uh, this is the main wiring right here, the fuel pump power. Uh, we, they did inspections, actually, uh, uh, Seth was having issues with it. Come to find out, they already took the hanger away. The uh, pins on the hanger that connects uh, top, the interface pins that connects top to bottom uh, were actually loose, and then they actually broke off when they went to go check them. Uh, so the, it was, the car was not running right, and we figured out. So. Like we all, like people always say, it's better to happen now than later. So, they're sourcing another uh, another um, hanger right now. It's coming in from Manila, which is a little bit of ways away, like 72, kilo 72 kilometers away from here. So, it's on the way. They're gonna get that done. You got Tony, uh, Ueno son, uh, uh, Kendall Morris son, and some other guys are over here right now, uh, getting ready for all this stuff right now. So, again, stuff happens. Uh, this, you know. We're in another country, making it happen. Seth is where I'm working hard. Tell him not to stress about it. We'll get it running. RB25, Haltech, we'll get it running. So. The uh, car running. I uh, have some other issues. Right now, Seth is uh, building a standalone harness for the uh, fuel pump. I haven't had a chance to run a course. A lot of other people broken, so we're gonna try to get it running, get out on the track, and I'll uh, see if we can do. It happens. It's not all Seth. So, uh, just he's gonna do redo the whole car when he has time. But uh, we work on what we got. That uh, just happens. Uh, but we'll try to see what we can do. Get on the track. <laughs>
six million pesos. So each, each million is. Alright, uh, something a little off beat here in uh, the city of the Philippines, walking with Alan. Walking down the block right here. Alan's actually looking for the uh, house of the person that um, used to take care of him when he was uh, coming up. So, I didn't record a bunch of stuff, uh, but um, decent area. He's walking around. Uh, you know, I walked around Iraq, so I'm pretty, you know, I'm from Baltimore, so I feel pretty safe anywhere. Yeah, I just got, got, yeah. I got the uh, vi video. I want pictures in the video. Twenty nine on the. Uh... Yeah, this is a old Spanish style, like ish structure. Yeah, like the little. Looks like the little. Uh, like cut. What's up, man? This is kind of cool. I'm gonna chop it into the video. Wow, very good. Think of stickers. Yeah, you know how to take it, put it properly without bubbles. How about the others? You want to put it on the glasses on the windows? Yes. Alright guys, so back here in Masao, Japan now. That was a uh, very uh, cool experience uh, to get uh, out in there to see him. Uh, pretty much uh, make contact with the uh, nanny that watched him back when he was eight, or eight between like eight and ten years old. And uh, I guess she's 97 years old. The last of her uh, brothers, sisters, moms, and stuff like that. And uh, again, uh, you know, we came here to drift things like that. But again, this is a very cool thing to do here. So again, now I'm back in Japan. Uh, as you guys see, the car actually didn't... Um, the car, we, we, Chef, again, he tried, uh, tried everything we could, but obviously, uh, there was some, we didn't have time to go do a full deep dive into the car because we still needed it to kind of try to compete. Uh, so all the little fixes we were doing at the track weren't really working out. Got us to go, got us to go full power, uh, right before the, uh, the qualifying and, uh, actually quali try to qualify. It was probably like 80%, and essentially, I just overdrove the car. Uh, tires were not as wide, the grip wasn't there. And I uh, just uh, had two zeros. So that was all on me just trying to overdo it. I should have just went safe, uh, been a professional, went safe and got into there and the tandems would have changed things because you got a different car and everything like that. So it is what it is, it was what it was, but it still was a good trip overall. I uh, met a good, a good amount of people there that I've known for years online. Met some new guys and um, it was a very good atmosphere and environment. Coming from Japan, coming from America, um, it was kind of cool to do what you do in a different place because while well, the base of it is the same, the people around you are different, the atmosphere is different. And it felt like a very more, a much more lighter environment. And I'm saying it for years. I've been in Japan for a while, 16 years now. I love it here. Obviously, uh, but I will keep it real, man. It's changed, and um, you got the you got the you got different levels of you got the elites and stuff like that. And I don't care to run around in that circle, and because I, I'm I'm just as good as those guys, but I don't care to be in the elite circle of drifters. They cast their whatever down, and you go to the event to have fun and everything, man. And you just kind of get to the same thing where it's just drama, and like I'm not for that. So. I mean, I'll go, as you guys probably asking local, uh, you're not an MSP, you're not here, you're not here, blah, blah, blah. It's because I'm going where I'm going where I feel welcome, man. Um, I'm not going to go somewhere where it's a high tension uh, environment because what's going to happen with that is I'm going to lash out and we don't want to do that. So uh, I'd rather stay away from uh, stupid people and have fun, man. So that's the goal. Thanks again to Tony, the team there. Thanks again to Seth. Uh, our driver, Mike, Michael, uh, a host of other guys there and all the guys we met there. Uh, one big shout out to um, Bodie. Uh, Bodie's a new guy I met, man, but like uh, talked to a few guys, man. He's like one of those guys with the energy. Felt like we've known him for years, man. It was all, it was uh, funny, um, and actually didn't put it in the video because it happened so quickly. I, it was so there was not enough drivers, so I qualified last, but I still got to get it going to the tandems, and I went against Bodie in the rain. 
and, and the guy helped me like fix it, get the car like he helped with stuff get the car running and stuff like that so he ended up uh, 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 advancing because his windshield wipers worked better uh, one thing that I didn't uh, learn was because the car's left hand, uh, left hand drive converted right hand drive many of the cars don't have wipers and because it's in uh, Philippines doesn't actually rain too much uh, so most cars didn't have my car didn't have a wiper so couldn't see any, anything very rainy out there so again uh, very good, very good trip. I'll be doing this more than once. I'll be going back there again. We'll try, probably try to get a car over there myself to keep there. Uh, that way, I don't, I don't uh, encroach on uh, Seth's uh, rental, uh, you know, deal, things like that. So we'll see. Uh, all, overall, I got a lot of stuff here to do in Japan. Been gone five days. Got to get back here. Got to cut grass because the gra a lot of rain happened here and the, the summer came. So or well, the spring came. So all this grass has sprouted up out of nowhere. So I got to do, do some. Uh, Tend to the garden a little bit, chop the grass down, move the cars around, get them started up, and I uh, get to work and everything. So fun times, but a lot of work to do. And I uh, thank you guys that are new to the channel for checking it out. Uh, we'll be, be, be back more, so we'll be able to talk, talk, and you know, do all that stuff later when I get back in the Philippines. So again, thank you guys for the time. It's gonna be Dyson up from South Japan. Take your style garage. See you guys later. Peace.